friends all tell me go to him, run to him, say sweet lovely run. things to him and tell him he's the one. All right, I thought I'd give you a little update on my tractor project. This is a just kind of prototype. The panel I have on here is just a small one, just so I can fit it in my basement here. But uh, I'm basing my design on. I want to, as I talk about single axis tracker, so I'm using one of these uh, antenna rotators, which actually has a synchro motor in it that normally is synchronized with a motor that's in the ground controller. I've been able to uh, determine a way to emulate that with some circuitry, <clears throat> so I have it all working. Now I'm still I still got quite a bit of more work to do, but I thought I'd give you an update on uh, how I'm doing this. So the idea is you have a uh, one and five eighths to two inch pole from the ground that you mount the rotator to, then you have another mount come up from the rotator. In my case I'm using a uh, satellite dish uh, foot mount. But you can use a variety of other things. The nice thing about this satellite dish thing is I can actually adjust the, uh, the tilt angle and uh, with a little bolt I can tighten that down but it's very easy to adjust that so I don't really have to worry about the having that second uh, axis which really only according to my calculation only really adds about six percent more to the overall power production if you do it perfectly so single axis is a, a big step that you have to conquer now I have the circuit tree basically done uh, I'm not going to show it to you because I'm probably going to build these in some kind of production fashion but I at least want to give you a little demo of how it works so let's you imagine here that we're facing south and now I'll uh, I'll activate activate my my calibration and uh, a simulated solar day so hold on okay all right the program should start here The one nice thing about this rotator, being it's a TV antenna rotator, is it actually has a 360 degree sweep, which like a satellite dish, like a C-band one that people use, or any kind of linear um, tracker, they only, they generally can't do a little, even 180 degrees, so this can do a full 360. Now if you live in the upper part of the northern hemisphere, you can... Uh, you know that uh, the sun will come up north of east and it'll set north of west. So the actual in the morning, if I'm facing, if I'm facing like due north, the sun actually on the, on the on June 21st actually comes up kind of to the northeast. I have this calibration to kind of come up and point to the east like it is right now, kind of wait there for the sun to come up, kind of simulate that, and then here's just kind of the little. Two, de two degree mo movements it'll make during during the solar day. Uh, now I'm going to have two versions of this. One that's based on a, a solar sensor, so it'll be tracking the sun, and another one that'll be based on uh, having a, a a compass, electronic compass integrated with it. And then I'll calculate in the software where the sun should be for your location. And then I'll make sure the panel points exactly to that degree. Uh, there's kind of two different ways of doing it. The one that's got the compass will be more sophisticated. But uh, anyway, it's been kind of fun doing the research, doing some circuit design, some programming to get up to this point and uh, trying to come up with an approach here that's pretty uh, inexpensive so that there'll be a low cost single axis tracker on the market which there basically isn't right now and um, 
so I thought I'd share a little bit of that progress. And when I get it done, I'll probably just do more, you know, testing through the winter with it. And maybe, uh, so I'm not going to really necessarily put it on the market right away. But we'll see. Give me your thoughts. Should be finishing up its program pretty soon here. There it is. Okay. Talk to you later.